This is without a doubt the best gaming headset that you can buy right now. This headset right here made me go wireless. Here's why. I just want to start this out by saying I'm not sponsored. Not sponsored by SteelSeries. This is not a paid promotion. This is just, I was in the same situation as you. I was looking at the headset and I was conflicted because of the price. I'm just another consumer and this is my full unadulterated opinion on this product. This review is going to cover all the things that I wanted to know before I bought it and the things that would have helped me. And if you guys are looking for any specific part of this video, go ahead and down below, I put timestamps you can check out there and stick around to the end of the video guys to find out about some of the upgrades I made that made this headset just so much better. Okay, so just off the title alone, huge claim, this is the best gaming headset I've ever used, but hear me out. At one point I was just like you, I was thinking $350, that's really expensive. I mean, almost four times more expensive than my last headset, which was the Logitech Pro X. And I gotta say, that thing was amazing. So when the idea of spending $350 on a headset that would replace an already working great headset floated in my head, I really had to think about it. Right off the bat, I, like I said, I'm a consumer like you, and this video is to talk about all the things that I had wish I had known before purchasing. Firstly, we're gonna talk about all the things that I don't like about this headset. Because like you, I don't like wasting my money on stuff that's gonna become e-waste. And I'm actually open to reviewing the Apex Pro TKL keyboard, so let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in that. So to start things out, pretty much the nitty gritty, the out of the box experience sucks on this headset. The ANC is on by default and it made my head hurt. It gave me a huge headache. I, I probably spent two hours going, why does it feel like there's somebody like squeezing my brain? And I realized oh, I've got ANC on, uh, which you can turn off by just pressing the power button here. The sound profile out of the box was flat. It had no depth. It was just gross. Not really a huge con because if you have a PC and you use the Sonar software, which is actually pretty impressive, there is so much customizability with this headset. You can change so many settings and probably took me about a week to fine tune this headset to be perfect in my opinion. On screen, you'll see some of my EQ settings if you wanna copy them and see if you like it. I know that when I was looking for the right EQ settings that I struggled and it was really just my messing with the settings. Uh, I hope that can help out anyone that's looking for those. This is easily the most immersive and sound rich headset I've ever worn. And I've tested a lot of headsets. Next up is the fit. Drippy, I'm just kidding. The hinge is on the top. As you can see, the back of this the hinge is on the top and in the back. Not terrible, but here's the issue with that. Because it's a single point hinge, the question of it's, I feel like it's just one failure point rather than two. I'm not an engineer, so I can't say what it is. However, when you put it on, the headset has a tendency to go right into that single point. Meaning that down here, under my ears, there is no seal until I readjust. Tiny pet peeve, but that's small. Let's throw it to the side. Next up. The keen-eyed among you might notice that these ear cups are not OEM. These are Wicked Cushions. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them. My friend is. Uh, down below, you can see his review of them. Read, you're welcome for the free advertising. Uh, it's not free, PayPal me 50 bucks now. I'm wearing the cooling gel ones and by far they've changed how this headset is at all. It's one of the upgrades that I was talking about a little bit ago. I'm gonna do a full video on the other upgrade that I think just took this headset to an 11. So without these headphone ear cups, the, the padding is lacking. There's just not enough space between your ear and the driver. It's just, it gets uncomfortable, it gets hot, and it feels like, and your ear gets fatigued from just constantly touching the plastic on the inside. I, these are kind of a need. Like, I, I'd say that if you buy the headset, definitely get them, get the extra padding, because without it, it's just, not everyone has the issue, but I know a lot of people do. Here's kind of a, a middle ground. It's not a bad thing, it's not a good thing. It's got a sturdy build and sturdy construction, um, but it's mainly plastic. And I can almost guarantee that that's to keep down on weight because this is a light headset for wireless. There are some times that plastic creaks. I don't like it when plastic creaks. A tiny complaint, not a big deal. It's still high quality plastic. I don't think this headset's breaking anytime soon and I've put it through the ringer. Now, those are my main concerns and my main issues that I wish I had known before buying the headset. I know, long list, it's terrible. Now, I could go on at length about the pros, but I won't. I know you've watched countless reviews talking about every detail about this headset. Here are the important things that I would have liked to know or hear about before buying it. Uh, these are just really good things and I feel like not enough people talk about the good about this headset. The audio quality, we've kind of touched on this already. Insane, audio quality is amazing. You can customize it to your heart's content. I've got profiles for listening to music or gaming or working. It's great, I love it. 
no complaints here. A and C, we talked about it a little bit. The, the software is intuitive. I've had some complaints about the software, but they're tiny bugs that have gone away. Next up is the convenience of this headset. So it's something that was kind of touched on in a few reviews that I saw, but never actually like gone in depth about was the ability to connect to my PC and my phone. You ever have a friend that's just sitting there scrolling through YouTube shorts or TikTok, just blasting it right through the mic. Now, if you are that friend, all your friends hate you. But if you aren't that friend, all your friends hate you. Just kidding. This issue gets eliminated with this headset because you can connect directly to your phone and just stream Bluetooth at the same exact time as you've got game audio coming through. So if you've got one monitor, you can listen to a YouTube video or watch a YouTube video even on your phone while listening to the game. Next up is the battery life. The, the battery life, if you're connected to just the PC, amazing. Really, really cuts in half at least if you connect to the phone and the PC. I went from changing out the battery once a day and a half to about probably once in the morning. I normally drain the batteries pretty quick. Not to mention just how fast you can change out the batteries. So as long as you take out the battery and put the new one in within eight seconds, the headset will auto restart and connect back. And I'd say it's probably about six seconds. I've done it a couple times mid game, which if you do want to find out what mods I've done to make this headset better, Go check out the other video that I'm making or subscribe if it's not already up. Should be linked in the top comment. And the range of this thing is insane. You might be thinking, oh, okay, what? I can go to the bathroom wearing the headset. Not only can you go to the bathroom wearing the headset, I have been two floors up and a hundred feet across in the same house, still connected just fine. And that's on speed mode. There's also a long range mode. I, I guess this increases the range of it, but lowers the responsiveness and increases latency. Not the best for gaming, but you got a laptop out and you're just listening to YouTube and doing chores. Now I don't want to go too in depth on everything. This is really just for consumers that I think should know some things that I wish I had known. Let's use this video as kind of like a guide for everybody that's looking to get this headset. If you have any recommendations or any, or if any of your thoughts on this headset, put it down in the comments below and help each other out. And if you don't already have this headset, let me know down in the comments, what headset are you running now? Pretty interested to see what brands are moving where, or what users are using what. And subscribe to see my next video on how I upgraded this headset to just be so much better. Thank you guys so much for watching my first hardware review. Didn't think it'd be about this headset. Uh, honestly, I think about it'd be about a Pixel Watch or something. Yeah, if you guys like this content, please drop a like and subscribe. Uh, use code MIST for G Fuel, all that stuff. Uh, all my links are down below. I'd really appreciate if you check them out. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.